We already know that our online activities can be tracked by the sites that we visit. So any activity that I engage in online, browsing on a particular site, is visible to that site. But what we're observing now on the internet is in certain cases our web browsing activities and some information about us is actually being shared between multiple sites. And this may be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you feel about it. So let me give you an example. Um, let's say that I'm on a particular website right here um, and Alice is uh, browsing this website looking for electronics. Uh, maybe this is Amazon, maybe this is Newegg, whatever. Um, and so this site has a fair amount of information about what Alice has been looking for recently, the types of products that she might prefer, um, you know, whether she's looking for gaming consoles or something that's more practical for home use or something like that, whatever. Um, and so this site, you know, is has a lot of information about this. But then later Alice goes to some other site, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's a newspaper um, or something like that, and that site wants to put Alice ads on the page that are appropriate for Alice. It wants to target advertisements on that page according to something um, about Alice. It might you know, try to figure out what's the best product I can choose to appear here that's going to appeal to her. And of course the problem is here that this site, a lot of the sites where ads appear, a lot of the sites that depend on ad revenue um, in order to make money, actually don't necessarily sell a product or service. So this site, this is like the shopping site over here, right? And this is the news site. And the news site doesn't need to sell ads in order to make money, but it doesn't know what Alice likes. In, in contrast, the shopping site is actually selling a real product. And so the shopping site is less dependent on ad revenue, but it knows what Alice has been looking for. And so what happens a lot now is that these sites find different ways to share information with each other. So one example of how to do this would be the shopping site could stick a cookie onto Alice's browser that the news site, that an advertising network that the news site uses would retrieve, interpret, and then use to determine what ads should appear on the page that she's browsing when she's looking at online news. Um, and so this happens you know, frequently online, and this is why when you go to certain pages, you see ads that are sort of surprisingly relevant. Uh, so for example, I've been considering for a while buying a, um, a turntable. Um, I don't know why, but I keep going back to this one website that, that sells turntables and has some recommendations for sort of low-priced entry-level turntables. Um, and when I browse the internet, I see a lot of ads for turntables. Um, I'm not sure why, because it's clearly not working. I haven't bought one yet. Um, but there's clearly some information that's being passed from that site that I'm visiting that's, you know, giving me what is supposed to be some sort of unbiased review of turntables. That site doesn't sell turntables, right? But it needs to monetize that information somewhere. So it's probably sharing that information with an ad network that's then using it to be, to realize, oh wow, this guy has visited this site a lot that has to do with turntables. Maybe I'll stick some turntables into this ad spot on the page because that's an ad that he might consider relevant. So, there are ways to disable this. There are ways to ask advertisers not to track your activity across multiple sites. But on some level, some people may not find this to be particularly problematic, um, mainly because the goal here is to actually place ads on the page that are relevant to you. So part of the question when it comes to web tracking is, do you want to see ads that are potentially a good fit for you and your preferences? Or would you rather not see those ads and would you rather not have these advertisers sharing information about you? To some degree, the goal is to provide a more personalized advertising experience that's a better fit for you, uh, but the mechanisms of doing this to some people can seem a little bit creepy.